Hi guys. <coughs> uh, uh, last time uh, we worked on this part, right? Uh, adding and validating uh, the mark sheet. So uh, this this time we'll be displaying uh, the mark sheet and editing and removing. Uh, but we have an uh, error, so let's fix that and work on edit and remove section. So let's go to uh, controller and mark seed and uh, as you know this this function was used to uh, call uh, the mark seed uh, based on the class ID right so there is an error on this one I guess so in 57 okay so the illegal start of okay so value mark seed id so uh, mark seed data mark seed model face the model okay so should be from here class id okay so mark seed id Okay, let's just uh, let's have box Okay, so there is an error. Okay, so let's check box ID. Okay, so open. Close. I know fifty seven. Okay. Oh, we have this. So let's remove for now. Let's try to remove with this. Okay, I think there's an error with this part. Okay, let's try to go with this. Check uh to check we can use the network. So first this okay so okay we have data correctly I guess but we are not able to okay so box it data okay so let's try to echo from here by value Okay, it's only returning the four. So uh, okay, it should be returning like result array. Yeah, I forgot to update this. Okay, it should be uh, result array, and I think uh, we don't need this query. Okay, so uh, that should work perfectly. Okay, so. Uh, let's uh, remove this and okay it's not displaying any data so Okay. Just 
oh I, I forgot to open this this is only like uh replacing the the data okay so yeah, it's done so uh, okay let's try to add a new when uh, we add a new one or uh, the table should be updated right? and that function is not uh, done so uh, it's a quick one a small uh, JavaScript function uh, let's test this if we add this yeah it successfully added but this row is not updated right so for that one uh, we'll, we write uh, like only one line code in market.js to like update that uh, uh, table okay so it's uh, a quick okay so uh, we just uh, grab that element I'm sorry just what happened okay we'll just uh, okay we'll just grab that okay this ID Okay, uh, the table ID, and we'll load this is our jQuery uh, function. Okay, we'll just uh, give the class name. After that, we'll use, I guess. Okay, so we'll use uh, uh, another function like page update mark sheet table okay and we'll provide the uh, we'll pass the parameter I mean class ID okay so uh, uh, let's create this uh, function uh, right below here okay so it should be public function and class ID we'll check if we have a class ID okay and the same I think uh, I'll copy from here to there and and uh, just remove our uh, this and I think and this table right and okay so okay let me check this one again okay okay so yeah I think that's all uh, okay let's try to uh, add another one okay so moxie 3 save okay it's not I think I didn't save that oh, we did so it should be moxie let's give it 4 4 let's give it, uh, press enter and save okay it's calling oh okay this it's not been used so it should be base URL I forgot to add this one and let's see if the function name is equal, it's equal to this one yeah it's so let's try to add another one okay max it 5 max it 5 and let's go to the data press enter and save yeah it's done so you can see the max it 5 okay let's give it another name max seed six and yeah okay uh, as you can see this is like a jQuery uh, I think uh, error it's been uh, clicked double time so I think it's event uh, handler is uh, saved for if we for example if we uh, try to add another like seven uh, it will be created three times I guess let me check yeah so it's piling up the event okay so oh, first time we add it uh, it's one and again we try to add the the previous uh, add event was like 
piled up and that's why we have like two and third time when I try to add um, uh, the previous one two and three was added so that's why we have like three again three if, if you try to add ag again like uh, moxid uh, moxid uh, I think it, it will be created for moxid 8 you can check it see we have like four so to save from this I think uh, we can use unbind that click first of all yeah and then bind again okay so uh, let's refresh that and let's try to create max at 9 max at 9 and let's give it a save uh, for the first time which will be only one time so let's add another one like max seat okay it should be like 11 okay at this time uh, i hope uh, the max it the same max will not be created twice okay it's added yeah because of that so to, to fix that we can use the unbind uh function right so uh yeah that's all for uh to page so uh, let's try this one second let's uh say i mean like two class like max seat one and save okay it's done for uh, one let's add max seat two save let's add it right so that's also okay so I think uh, the add and the page part is uh, successfully uh, done so let's move to uh, update and delete for my final checking I'm just testing for final okay add it right so let's do it again box it to okay so it's done so now uh let's try uh remove first and then after that we'll do it a uh, delete one okay so uh, let's go to uh, uh view and then mark seat right so in there we need to add uh another module so uh we'll be uh, using bootstrap 3 uh as and 3.3 not 4 uh, because before has like uh, too many bugs and they're fixing it in future with that yeah we'll be using it oh my I think my internet is slow today so okay uh, no problem we'll just copy this and before that we just add add mark seed model okay so below here we we'll add remove model and above here i think uh, we'll add edit uh marks edit model okay so and here it should be uh let's go to here and here should be data target edit mark sheet model okay so it should be edit mark sheet model and remove mark sheet model okay so here we'll type remove the mark sheet here it should be i think uh remove remove or uh, I think I'll use it from the JavaScript uh, for that URL okay so uh, just let's okay now let's remove this D and in here in uh, paragraph element we'll write do you really want to remove Okay, so okay, so close that. Okay, so let's check. Okay, I think we have problem with the internet. So let's check if uh, it's we can see that remove model. So just to that, yes. So uh, oh, we'll be. Uh, removing or through this if if the user clicks on this button then we'll remove uh, the mark seed information from the database so uh, for the remove student just write mark seed button remove the mark seed button and you know we created of our uh, unclick function right so remove mark seed uh, through that we'll get um, the mark seed id we need the mark seed id 
uh, to uniquely identify which uh, row to be deleted, right? So you can see here and here. Okay. Yeah, from here also we need to. Okay. Right. So uh, we need to remove from uh, mark seat table and mark seat student. And in this table, the students uh, subset and marks are stored. And in this uh, table, we only uh, store the mark set uh, information. Okay, so let's do it quickly. Uh, let's get remove function uh, in uh, mark set .js. Okay, so let's just uh, comment this. Uh, add mark set function remove mark seed function okay so mark seed uh, should be mark seed id okay so it should be divided for not if we have the mark seed the over in javascript uh, the variables are not identified with dollar we don't need the dollar okay so uh, remove function okay so uh, 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 okay let's give you an example if what happens when the user clicks on the edit uh, I mean remove button okay so you first this uh, the mark set ID will be displayed exactly what we want and if the user clicks clicks on this one then we want to remove the mark sheet from the uh, from the database right so this is uh, why uh, I, I like uh, get a unique ID in this button so while user clicks on this button will remove okay let's check it very quick okay so let's give remove save okay he wants to remove let's do it again okay I think we have the same problem right just let's unbind uh, the click and bind the click okay so like uh, I, yeah I, I did it in the previous part also it's a JavaScript function so don't worry like if you uh, find this you can just update them like unbind them the click unbind and bind the click okay so uh, before like uh, uh, uh uploading i'll i'll just uh update all of this uh javascript uh small fixes okay so okay let's check it so user wants to remove the marks it too so okay even if it clicks only one time okay so it's done so we'll use azax okay so we need the base url mark seed uh, and remove with keyword mark seed id so the post will be type will be post and data type will be session okay so if it is successful check if response or success goes to true true then we'll display the error message okay remove message uh, if uh, if we have an error then uh, we'll use the remove we'll display the error message here okay so if it's successfully uh, removed or uh, we need to update the table to right table to right so we'll use the above this uh, one line code or you can like uh, just use uh, um, call a function like update mark sheet table and pass your class ID and paste it here and uh, check if we have the class ID and like this and just call that function like update marks it table but uh, but yeah you can just use that one 
right so but uh, I'm not be using this because because for because just want to teach you like how it works so that's why so I can do that way also because I uh, just uh, writing like too much in the work you can use that one function and call them every time to update the table so that it works so okay so the remove message should be from here see yeah I remember the name so it's from here no message and I'll copy that uh, this here and for error let's just copy from here okay so okay oh, okay I think in section go to section and just uh, copy from any part for like this one okay so it's done right and yeah so uh, let's create the uh, function in the server okay so let's do it it's it's, it's a simple it's, it's easy uh, just below here we'll write a, a comment mark seed remove mark seed function here we'll write uh, create mark seed function here uh, updates updates the the mark seed uh, table okay uh, fetch is the I give uh, returns the uh, mark seed table based on the class ID okay, so let's create uh, the mark seed function which should uh, uh, have a class I know uh, I'm so sorry like uh, we should have a uh, mark seed ID so we'll check mark seed uh, if we have the mark seed then only uh, we can remove uh, this variable stored of uh, the operation if it's true or false if the op operation is successfully uh, completed okay so it should be here we should provide mark seed ID okay and we'll check if it's successfully removed so uh, by to Validator. Okay, success goes to true. Just and give it here. Successfully removed. Otherwise, and here we provide messages. And else, validator success goes to false. Give it here as a message. And we'll uh the custom um, uh, message like error while uh, removing the information and we we'll go out in uh, JSON encoded value error okay and we need to create a model too right so go to the application models and model mark seed and then uh, create uh, the remove function public function remove mark seed id if mark seed id if you have a mark seed id then this db where where okay where a mark from where mark seed id is equals to mark seed id and this uh, db it's remove no it's delete delete from mark seed okay we'll check uh, if it's deleted successfully and we also need to like remove from mark student right so uh, this 
I copy and paste. Okay, this uh, the ID will be the same from here. See, uh, mark it ID, mark it ID, and uh, the table name will be different. It's marks student, right? Mark seed student. Okay, so uh, we change the name like mark seed mark seed student result okay and we'll return if the both are true true then we return true false or if, uh, if if the both are not true then it uh, it will return false so let's check this one okay i'll just remove the dupl duplicated name okay so let's remove this and to check this okay i think it's successfully removed but the thing is we have an error is not defined okay it's not defined oh yeah <laughs> it should be marks and not plus Oh, uh, we need the class ID, yeah. So for to fetch the like marks it table for the class class. So, oh, uh, for that, uh, okay, we can do is this. We'll give here uh, provide the class ID from here. Okay, so it should be okay give it here as a class id okay so okay i, I did an update so let's copy from here and paste here okay so now i think it won't create any problem so okay that Okay, let's remove the eight. Yeah, it's removed, right? So let's try to remove th this. This is the first one. Yeah, it's removed. Let's try to remove this one. Okay, I don't know what happened to that part. Yeah, it's removed. What just happened? Okay, let's check there. Okay, fetch the update marks it table. Fetch uh, marks it, fetch the update marks it table. We provide in class. Right, so let's do a quickly check over here. Let's try to remove this eight one eight. Okay, six and five. Then we get the marks in from six. Okay, let's remove eleven. Okay, we just I think we provided the null value oh i forgot to like <laughs> update in this part in page market it should be obvious because we we are like after remo removing successfully uh we are calling this function right i forgot so let's copy this and paste it over here okay Okay, now it won't create any problem and as well as let's uh, uh, close that uh, model when it's done so should be here yeah oh my god yeah over here it should be model and hide this is uh, JavaScript uh, I'm sorry this is bootstrap uh, 
function to uh, close that uh, model manually okay so okay let's try to remove the seven okay it's removed successfully removed message is displayed so let's try to remove nine okay it's done so let's go to class two and try to uh, remove marks it too okay so yep it's done so okay let's try to remove from this yeah it's done all right so let's uh work with this update part okay so it's uh let's uh, uh change this one to update mark seed and uh, okay let me check okay to this to as update uh change this add to edit mark seed and change uh here edit mark seed so here should be this copy of this place over here here and this uh change this to edit mark seed message and give it here as edit date here and here and i think we don't need this we'll be using this for on submit function right so okay so let's check update okay okay when you okay we need a date to i mean date picker okay i think here it's done so now we need to create a function as you remember we have here a click function edit marks it function right so first of all or when the user clicks on this uh, we need to display this data over here uh, right okay okay so we write function mark seed id as now and we also use class id okay so okay so first we we'll like uh we first like we set the uh, form value okay and also i think uh, we will remove okay also remove uh, has error and uh, has success and uh, as well as the danger too and uh, i want this to message to be empty when user clicks on that uh, edit button okay so okay and initiate that edit button edit date with uh it's calendar picker and give this new parameter for format date format so y y y month and date okay after that let's check okay so okay it's working so now we'll use the azax um, to fetch the marks it data from the uh the server from the server okay so we'll use mark seed and give the name as uh, fetch mark seed data by mark seed id and use as mark seed id and type give it as a post and data type should be json because uh, we are like uh, returning the value to json right give it success as a response and and we'll use this element 
okay value response dot mark c it's a, it should be mark sheet name and edit date as as okay should be mark c date okay so let's create this function quickly go to the controller mark c let's minimize this for now and uh, okay okay let's just grow this public function give the page mark seed data by id okay give it like oh give this one and give this one mark seed seed id If we have the Moxid ID, then we'll use the data. This as model Moxid. And I think we are use this function as a Moxid. And equal them. Like this. And let's go to model. We should be located in uh, application model Moxid. And below here give it as okay this mark seed id and let's copy the work code and just uh, replace this class id and here it should be mark seed id okay okay so let's check there Okay, let me check. Okay, okay. It should be in row array, not in array. Okay, okay, it's done. So let's do this. Box it to okay. Okay, so I think uh, fetching data is done. Now let's uh, do with update part. Okay, so let's go quickly to here and below create. I think I'll do it in here. Let's copy the uh, create part, update, give it this as edit marks it edit date and change this to update okay and okay give this also as a update Uh, this to moxid id as well as we'll need the class id too okay so we'll check if we have the moxid id and class id and here we'll be passing moxid id and class id okay so update successfully updated error while, error while updating the information into the data so yep it's done over here let's go to the model part and let us copy this paste it over here we'll use it as an update right here mark seed id and let's copy this and let's uh add just this one and yeah it's it's like this so the next part is okay so we'll uh, update them by using okay we need to first update this table right so uh, we'll use this db 
where mark seed id equals to mark seed id right and here we use to be update mark seed table with our data okay so uh, that part is done so now okay we need to work with okay this part so uh to work with this i think we'll uh, first uh remove all the so all the student mark seed data by the mark seed and mark seed id and class id okay and after that we'll insert them again okay so first of all let's remove this db uh, where mark seed id and mark seed id here it should be class id with given class id and let's remove them by giving the read function mark seed student okay so after that i think we'll use this uh, function okay uh, here we'll use okay okay i think we'll use the above mark seed id and class id subject id yeah that's all it will be updated successfully so let's try to update them okay mark seed cannot declare i think i forgot to update this function so let's update this one and if we right now if we uh, try to update uh, from here i think uh, we don't get any messages so we we'll need to use ajax here simply it will be quick one uh, uh, by copying and pasting from the this function yeah so okay by this function okay okay we do from this i'm sorry from here to here and we need to change this uh, form id as uh, from here edit marks a form uh, we need to select this element now the add form and we'll not we'll not we do not need to update this okay change and here we'll change this to what is the name edit okay so edit and edit manage table and uh, we'll need to pass to uh, id first name should be mark seed id and another should be class id okay the all uh, the data is provided from here so okay let's try to update them first let's have an empty okay it's working uh, updated mark seed name one okay we have an error okay so let's check it quickly okay uh, undefined variable model 109 so oh it should be from here this one okay now it should be able to be updated okay updated it's updated right okay let's check here okay it's not here so why oh i forgot to change in this part it should be added added mark seed name and here edit date okay 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 so let's do it give the name as updated mark seed one set the date 
boom it's done so let's go to this to one and let's change this to update for this file date okay style dating and boom it's updated so and that's all for this part so in next part uh we'll be working with nine is marks where uh you will or uh, we'll be able to uh 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 entry the uh your students uh marks like they obtained uh the scores on the mark sheet so yeah that's all for today okay thank you bye bye